Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Likes to Save Money. How's everybody doing today? Hope that everybody's doing well. Listen, we're going to take a moment today to talk about two attitudes, the daily good and the daily bad. Some of us just do not understand that it's the accumulative effect in life. What do I mean by that? The things that we do, for example, either negatively or positively, that makes an incredible difference in life. Yesterday, I showed a very clear example of how a gambling person thinks versus a savings person. I'm not judging either one. Anyone could do whatever they want. But I'm the type of person that does not care for possible or surprises I don't mind once in a while getting into that like big deal gambling thing, you know, like the special lottery that's, you know, and I only buy one ticket for that. But as far as those daily dopey tickets, let me tell you something. Unless you're not in debt, unless you don't mind sitting with the lights out in your house, unless you enjoy living in a car, these are the same people that, in my honest opinion, have the habits on a daily basis that are no good. Are they missing out on possibly winning something? Yes, but usually those type of tickets never, ever pay that much. And even if they win, usually that type of person gives it right back to the lottery. Don't get me wrong, boys and girls. That's great for the lottery people, and I commend them for it. They're clever. They're in it for the win. Never forget that. Now, enough of that. Let's spend a minute on talking about the daily good. See, my concentration and my positive impression are on the folks that try to do at least one good thing every day. Look at this, for example. Now, this sounds silly, right? All of us take this for granted. I mean, come on. Obviously, we all know we're supposed to shower every day. We brush our teeth several times a day. Hey, it's nice to have teeth, boys and girls, isn't it? I believe that laughter is immensely, immensely a healthy habit. It's good to understand and love pure joy, like love of children, your family, and your pets, stuff like that. It's great. It's important. It's necessary to get out into the sunshine and even in the rain. Take a little bit of the elements. It's totally fine. This is the way it is. Enjoy real life as such. Uh, to have true friends friends on a daily basis and the love of family. You know, not everybody gets all of that, boys and girls. They work really, really hard for stuff like that. But those are the people I commend that do work hard on a daily basis to keep what is good in their life. Oh, and by the way, isn't it nice to have that roof over your head? How many people who might even be viewing this video may be facing possible eviction? That is no joke, okay? So it's a good daily habit to want to have all of these things, and every single thing requires work. I didn't write the word work down because it is actually implied, okay? It takes work to make sure you shower. It takes work to make sure you brush those beautiful pearly whites two, three times a day, and don't forget to floss, boys and girls. It's, well, it doesn't take work to laugh, at least on my end, I'm always laughing. <laughs> but I love my music, and I love all of the above. However, here we go now with the daily bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buying things you don't need, okay? Uh, once in a while, you know, we all have to have a little frivolity. Yes, once in a while. But notice the words. The daily bed. Daily. Daily is the key word here. Overeating. Ah, it's a treat. Right. And that's what a treat should be. Something special. Like that delicious cheesecake yesterday, boys and girls. It is good. But you can't eat that every single day. No, no, no. You may want to, but you shouldn't. Over drinking, you know, alcohol, whatever, any, any bad habit that's going to add up over time. We're not talking about a social drink once in a great while. I don't drink at all. I'm a very boring person. I do not drink, smoke, ever took a drug. I am boring, but that's all right. My family loves me. <laughs> anyway, uh, smoking, never smoked. No, no, no. Waste of money. Waste of money, no matter what. And besides wasting money, it's, uh, it's, you know, really bad. And people thought they were Weisenheimers going over to vaping. There seems to be a lot of problems with that lately. Am I right or am I right? 
uh, abusing credit cards, spending money you don't have, and you know in the back of your mind that you are not going to pay it. Is that very honest? Seriously, you're not being honest to the creditor that was nice enough to extend you the credit, if you will, nice enough, or yourself mainly. You cannot do these things on a daily basis. If you cannot afford something, you don't get it. That's it. You earn it. You work towards it. I know. I know it sounds like almost literally impossible. Not true. Okay? Not true. Not exercising. Hey, being overweight is no joke. Okay? And sometimes, you know, people get lazy or whatever. And you know what? Even though I'm heavy, I still try every single day to do my best. Got to move around. And work with what you have. If you're physically challenged, work with what you have. Check with your doctor to see what you can do. Okay? Gambling. That's why I used that example yesterday. Let me tell you a short story. A real life story. I know of a person who's been chasing the same number every single day. The last time that number came out, true story, was 1994, or 93 was it. And they they keep playing that same darn number every single day, okay? Well, I did the math on it. Well, now that it's 2019, I did the math. We're talking about they lost uh, about $25,000 trying to chase the $2,700 quote win. Do you realize that could be a down payment on a house or buy a brand new car outright? Are you kidding me? But this is the way I think. Everybody thinks differently. We live in a world of choices. I don't tell anybody what to do. I just give suggestions and ideas. You pick and choose. You pick and choose. Hey, at least I'm nice enough to do this. Am I right or am I right? (laughs) All right, the ones that never save at all. Well, okay, there's no judgment on this at all, and I'll tell you why. Some people were never, ever taught to save. They were never around that environment, or they figure they're, like, constricted, okay? They don't, you know, some people just are too afraid to try. They doubt themselves. Don't do that. Don't do that. Bring in a little more income so you have something tangible to save, okay? I'm going to talk a lot more about online selling in the next couple of days as time goes on, okay? And, oh, by the way, never saving at all. Hmm, how many people did not do the $1 a day challenge and were at that challenging skinny chicken time of the month, which is <coughs> like right now as I speak? Okay, okay. Uh, no ambition, no ambition. There's no ambition on a daily basis because the depression of all of the above bed habits done on a daily basis, daily basis adds up. Zero goals. Not good. Not good. Uh, You know, look, everyone is given 24 hours a day. Okay. We are all given that gift. One day the gift runs out. Got it? So why not make the most of each 24 hour period that we are given? Okay. Work towards the tiny goals, tiny goals. Okay. For example, uh, let's say you've been sedentary for a long time. Get up. Uh, Start exercising while you're watching TV in between commercial breaks. Let's say you have a cluttered house. Instead of like staring at that thing on the floor praying for God to pick it up for you. No, God is not going to pick it up for you more than likely. You have to pick that thing up for you and decide whether you're keeping it, trashing it, donating it, or hanging it up. Or throwing it in the laundry. I'm just saying. So the bottom line here, the daily good and the daily bad. You live in a world of choices. Don't think that these tiny things, if left over time and neglected, do not add up. Wrong. Think of that gambler still chasing that $2,700 win, but threw away over $25,000. Bing! All right. In the meantime, this has been Jack New York City. We're going to spend some time this week coming up. Talked about online selling. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you have an amazing day. And you take good care. Thank you so much for viewing. Please pass this video along to someone in need, someone that doesn't understand that daily good and daily bad adds up. Either way, it could go in the negative or the positive. Choice is theirs, but it's good to talk about it. Hey, have some comments below. Let me know what you think of this video. Have a great day.